Hello everyone, welcome again. This is Debbie from One Day, One Mother. Every family has a story. Welcome to ours. Today I want to talk about putting a headstone on a grave. The reason I'm bringing this up, I know, well, there are some people who don't care about it, but I personally, it was something that I really wanted to do. Um, my daughter, Cynthia, she was so beautiful. And um, she was someone that, when she was alive, Cynthia was very, very organized and very clean. She made sure her home is clean, her car is clean, everything is so organized. So, you know, so I said to myself when she passed away, after we buried her, after I buried Cynthia, um, I was just thinking, okay, I need, I need to put the most beautiful stone, headstone on her grave. I went to the cemetery and I asked the gentleman, the office there, I said, how long does it take? for me to have a stone. He said, normally, um, they, they, they want you to allow from six months and longer for you to be able to put a stone. And I asked him, what are the prizes? He gave me a catalog um, with different designs and they were, they were beautiful. And I was looking to get the most beautiful one because to me, it's like this is my baby. This is my this is my baby's home. This is this is where I want to come each time when I come to visit her. I want it to be as beautiful as her apartment used to be, as her bedroom in the house used to be. And um, I saw this one that I loved. It had like rose color. I'm gonna put Cynthia's, you know, have the photo of her grave um, on this video. And I pointed to this. I said, this is what I want. Because first, what I did, I, I drove around the graveyard and I saw the ones that I love. And I'm like, that's what I'm going to get for my daughter. So we went back to the office and I said, okay, I've seen it. So he gave me that um, catalog again. And I said, this one. And he said, oh, that's a nice, beautiful one. That's pretty. Um, I said, how much is it? He told me $16,000. Mind you, this is business. You have to do your homework. You have to do your research. If you haven't, I'm here to help you. So when he told me $16,000, I said, is there where I can get it myself? He said, no, 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 no. You're not allowed to get it. But guess what? He was lying. You can purchase your own headstone. You can purchase it online. You can drive around. You can talk to, to friends. You can talk to family members. You can talk to, to your neighbor. You, you, you just talk to people and you'll be surprised the information that you're going to get, you're going to receive. So I went back home and I was just stressing out. I'm like, I need to do this because that's my daughter. And something said, no, find out the rules of your state and see if it's okay. Tap, 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 tap. Oh, you can get your own headstones. I decided that I'll get my own headstone not go and get it through the cemetery. Um, I know a friend of mine had helped me. We drove around, I think we went to Baltimore and we saw different headstones. And the first thing, once you walk into this place where they provide, they, they do the headstones, the, uh, what is it called, the uh, monuments. It's like different designs, different things. I looked at it, I didn't like it because of what I have already visualize on my brain, my head, that this, you know, the type that I wanted for my daughter. I finally found a place in Rockville, Maryland. I 
and I will put the information on this on this video below. Again, they are not paying me for this. I went over there. I spoke to. The, I made an appointment and I spoke to the gentleman. I said, "This is what I'm looking, and this is how I want it." And he said, "Yes, we can do it." I said, "But the cemetery that told me that no, it's not allowed. They are the only ones who are allowed to put the headstones. So you have to purchase it from them." And mind you, he had told me it was going to take. I think um six to eight months for the stone to get here from india the stone that i had chosen for, for my daughter he told me it would take six to eight months a headstone that i was charged sixteen thousand dollars i finally got it this business in rockville maryland i got it for six thousand dollars so there are some certain things that you need to know before you purchase your headstone away from the, the, the cemetery. You need to let them know that you're purchasing your own headstone. You need to get a copy of the deed. The deed is the document that you sign, that, that plot, that land that your child, your loved one is buried. You have a document, a signed document. So that's, that's like your home. So you have the deed. So make sure you have, you ask the cemetery to give you a copy of your deed. So I called the cemetery, I told them I'll need a copy of my deed and they gave me that. Um, you wanna find out in writing from the cemetery, they have their rules and regulations that you have to follow. Um, there's some certain, there's certain sizes the length, the width of a, a headstone that you can purchase, that you can put. So every cemetery has their rules. So make sure you want to find out from them. They have a certain um, photos that will allow you to put. So those are the only those are some of the restrictions that you get from the cemetery. So you want to check when they are available because you want to coordinate the provider from the outside, the provider where you get in your headstone and the cemetery, the, the office at the cemetery, you want to coordinate with them because they have to be there. They, they, they need to come and see, make sure that what you're bringing in is something that matches their rules and regulation. So guys, I'm telling you, there's so much out there this is me here i am sitting and i'm talking about this life is something if someone had told me three and a half years ago that daddy you're gonna sit and be telling people all this i'll be like oh not me not me i'm gonna keep that i'm ashamed i am worried what are they gonna say but right now i am here to help others so you don't go through what i went through some individuals who know everything that I'm saying, they've been there, they know it, or maybe they knew it before it even happened to them. But I know majority of us, especially parents, we have this concept, we have this belief that, oh no, we, we set up everything, we said, okay, I need, this is what I'll need when I'm dead. Uh, make sure you take my body back home to Africa. Make sure you bury me here. We sit and tell our kids all these things, our family, all these things. But when that time comes, you get confused. You don't know where to start. Luckily for me, I had loved ones around me and my surviving children. They help a lot in organizing, in, uh, in, in, in finding out. We, we, we work as a team. So remember, work as a team to get these things done. So today I'm sitting here. I'm so happy because I finally got the headstone that I wanted for my beautiful daughter, Cynthia. I know someone who said, oh, she's just the same, speaking about stones, speaking about headstones, speaking about what she did. 
it may not be good for you it may not be helpful for you but there are thousands of people out there that will be going through this situation that they will just want to believe whatever they're telling them you just want to believe that the cemetery told me they are the only ones who can provide the headstones no please i'm here to tell you no there are options out there you as a consumer you are the owner of that day that land you have the right to go out and purchase your headstone there's some certain fees that you have to pay but all those things will be set up because once you you purchase that headstone First, most, most companies, they, if that stone like mine, it wasn't available. So what I did, I put down a deposit. And I was told that once they receive the stone, they're going to call me for me to come back to the office and sign the final purchase. And that's what I did. And the gentleman in this office, he was so good. He was so kind. Um... The lady, the secretary in the office, uh, she was good. Again, guys, I am not an expert. Everything that I have said is for us to learn. Um, it's coming from my experience. I'm here to share what I went through. Hopefully, it's going to help someone who is watching me today. If it's not you, Please, you can share with someone that you know. Please subscribe, hit the notification button, share, write your comment. That's something that's going to help me. It's going to help you. If it's not going to help you, it's going to help someone else who is watching this. And if you know someone that you think my story may be of help to them, please do not hesitate to share. Every family has a story. Welcome to ours. Oh my God.